Taxi industry is mainly black owned in South Africa. It contributes immensely in the economy of the country. It is one of the highest employer that continues to create job opportunities. It's a mode of transport that many people rely on. But it is characterized by brutal killings and many taxi owners and drivers continue to lose lives in the taxi violence. This woman lost her husband and her son was wounded. Because my fear was that my husband is outside and his son, 16 year old, outside, busy with the taxis. Then when I go there, through the kitchen door, I found my husband lying next to the, to the stoop of the kitchen and he was no more. Okay, I start crying and go back. This widow says her son that sustained gun wounds during the brutal killing of his father is still traumatized. He is a first year student at Vets University, but he needs continuous counseling. There are shotguns there next to our race and that people were shot to death. Then I'm starting again to be afraid. Then that was also touched me again. I want to say my son still is in, is a, is in a trauma, he's in a shock. He's not okay. As a result, I'm trying to find out the, the psychologist. Zizi Pomafuya is 26 years old. She's a taxi rank marshal. She was shot and wounded too when the taxi violence broke out. She is still traumatized. It took only a few minutes and I noticed that my taxi driver had his head fallen over a steering wheel. I realized that he was being shot. I covered myself with my both hands. I rested my right leg on the chair and all of a sudden I felt excessive heat in my leg and that is when I realized that I have also been shot. I ran out of the taxi to a nearby homestead and I told them what had just happened. Zizi Po is now living with disability. Meanwhile, local authorities in Bathawet are trying to broker peace between warring tax associations. I am not well. It is even worse when it is too cold. My body is always painful. I went to the doctor and he told me that he cannot see if there is any bullet that is stuck in my lower body. I always go to the clinic where they just give me painkillers. It is not well, but I have to work under such conditions. We, we believe that it is also bad for investment. Uh, the killings uh, which accompany taxi violence. Uh, so we want it to come to an immediate halt as the municipality. Uh, to this end, the executive mayor has uh, invited all the warring or rival associations uh, to numerous meetings uh, where they were expected to smoke the peace pipe. Uh, unfortunately, uh, these efforts have not yielded the desired results. It has become common to see heavily armed bodyguards escorting taxi buses. It's a scary situation for commuters as they are always caught in the shootout. All these warring tax associations preach peace that has never existed. Families are losing their loved ones almost every day. Some taxi owners want government to regulate laws that will halt these senseless killings in the tax industry. For CPC News, I'm Kululegu Nyembezi, Eastern Cape.